Tayshon. This Wednesday is Veterans Day, but today our awesome three-year-old Mighty Eagles want to take some time and honor our amazing veterans. Check it out. Veterans Day is held in honor of all those who served in the United States Armed Forces. Many people fly a U.S. flag on this day to show their patriotism and support for the armed services. On the 11th day of the 11th month at 11 a.m., a moment of silence is observed to remember those who served. If you see a veteran or a soldier on Veterans Day, be sure to thank them personally for their service to our country. Bye! You wish you like me. Stop timing. Now we get up. Family. You help everybody. Giving. You gave your time for me. Loyal. You always stick and stay. Courageous. You are my hero. Focused. You always follow the plan. Intelligent. You sharply follow orders. We love you, veterans. 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 Good morning, Gabak family. I'm Carson, and you're watching IBO CNN. Today is Sunday, November 8th. This was a historic week for our country and the University of Dreams because we learned about the political process with our very own mock election. Check it out. <laughs> mock presidential election was a phenomenal experience for all of our scholars. It was an opportunity for our scholars to actually participate in the democratic process. We got a voting registration card and we learned a lot about voting. We have passed the torch to our scholars from generations to generations so they can know the importance to vote. Man, never in 26 years of my living have I seen anything like this. I learned so much about the history of voting, and I can't wait till I'm 18 so I can vote. They are um, watching the news and they're seeing what's going on in the world, so it's great to teach them about having the right to vote. And a lot of people want their voices to be heard. Your vote is your voice. What a great way to bring a government lesson to life. Your vote counts. Your vote counts. But I have so much fun voting. We're so grateful that God gave us the opportunity to participate. Oh my God, it was amazing! Woo! We are the school that faith built. Uh, look, look, I've been thinking a lot. Thinking about this country, who we are, who we not. All this fighting going on, wonder when will it stop? If my voice was heard, what do I really want? Uh, all this talk, Democrat, Republican, it's us, the U.S., it's our government. We get the chance to raise our hands, cause the bottom we fall, and United we stand. So, we got a voice, A, we got a choice, A, let's get together and make some noise and vote, vote, vote. You know we got a vote, vote, vote. We got a voice, A, we got a choice, A, let's get together and make some noise and vote, vote, vote. You know we got We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. We now today have had our University of Dreams mock presidential election. That's right. We had voters from K-2 all the way to fifth grade deciding who they thought would be the president of the United States, the next president of the United States. And now our tallies are in. And out of 109 students that voted, and we had... Uh, Four ballots, uh, we didn't know what they were voting, so. 86 for the winner and 19 for the non-winner. And so, according to the University of Dreams, the next president of the United States with 86 votes would be Vice President Joe 
Biden. Congratulations, Edith. Now, back to our show. We got a voice A. We got a choice A. Let's get together and make some noise and vote, vote, vote. You know we got a vote, vote, vote. Come on, let's vote. We got a voice A. We got a choice A. Let's get together and make some noise and vote, vote, vote. You know we got a vote, vote, vote. Way to go, U of D. We are making history. That's all we have for this week on IBF CNN. Be sure to watch Buddy School tomorrow at 7 p.m. I'm Carson, and you've been watching IBF CNN. Bye. IB! OC! Welcome to IBOP Jr., a place where the kids of IBOP and the teens of IBOP virtually come together to praise God. We are challenging you to show us what you learned from an iBox service. Kids, you can send your videos to the email kids at iboxchurch.org and teenagers, submit your videos to teens at iboxchurch.org. We have one team with one mission to praise one God. This is iBox Jr. Welcome to iBop Junior. This is the place where the kids of iBop and the teens of iBop get to share what they learn from Sunday or Monday service. Right now, we have two awesome teenagers to tell what they learned from last week's 6 p.m. service. Check it out. Now, y'all know how to be cheerleaders. We're going to do a cheer. Now, I'm going to give you the words to the cheer, and I want you to be able to read the words to the cheer out loud. Okay, let's look at the screen. Let's read the cheer. Ready? Go. It's Psalms 101. Ready? Go. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all ye lands. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm making a joyful noise unto the Lord. Oh, like what Pastor talked about in the message title, Always Thankful. Psalms 100 says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, even if it sounds like this. Hallelujah. Stop that, please. Okay. And remember, family, even in the midst of hard times, be grateful and always thankful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Hunter Brothers, for teaching us why we need to make a joyful noise. And now it is your turn. Listen and pay attention to today's service and tell us what you've learned. Simply send your video to kids at iboxchurch.org. And if you're a teenager, simply send your video to teens at iboxchurch.org. Okay, well, that's all we have for today. Let's get ready for the Word of God. <laughs> 